Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Yuan Shu campaign. This is episode 16. We pick it up from turn 69 in the spring season of 204. So last episode, uh, we started going to war with Liu Chong, and thanks to his super tall commanderies, we have become emperor, finally in the year 204. And in the south, uh, Liu Yao has uh, managed to get us into a war with Dong Min, which is just fine because Dong Min turns out to be one of the emperor seats. Now let's start leveling these up, pick up reach, and we're gonna send this army, uh, I don't know which one first, maybe Lu Jiang first, just to be safe, and then we go to Jian Ye. It'll take a little longer, give them a little time to level up buildings for us. They're not building the right things here, so we're gonna have to fix it up a bit afterward. Um, to the north, our goal is to hold Gong Sun Zan's attacks here in Pengcheng. Uh, we're going to probably lose the temple during the end turn, and we're going to have to go get it back. I'm going to send Zhou Tai's army over uh, to take care of them. Sun Ce's group will go to the farmland, and these armies will clean up Liu Chong's remaining forces, and then start shifting west. We're going to go into the trade port, into the jade mine, and I don't see any troops coming out, but... If we need to, we can loop them around here uh, as a defensive measure. Uh, this is also a little bit exposed because there's actually roads out west, so they can actually come in here. And AI tend to like to take weapon craftsmen, but I can't do much about it right now. Perhaps when the southern army gets freed up, we'll send one over, uh, but that's our situation right now. Um, I believe most armies have moved, and now it's just whether we have something to build um 2000 gold yeah we'll get this going uh, assuming there's nothing else yeah that's pretty much it and then we have a bunch of assignments so we'll do it by income is there anything we need to do down here not quite let's start here hmm the problem is we don't have much in terms of characters who can do stuff right now. Everyone's busy on the field or already deployed. We could boost commerce here. Not super effective, but yeah, there's a basic industry boost everywhere. We don't have any peasantry commanderies, which is a big issue. Like all these are heavily industry and we are basically spamming industry boost everywhere. All right, we'll send him here. Jiangling has a decent amount of peasantry, 200. It's not much. All right, let's let, let our son do something useful. Oh, Chen has 380? Uh, we'll let someone else go here then. That's fine. Alright. That's the general gist of things. Um, all our armies have moved. And let's take a look at the spy situation. He's got to wait for some more points. Yeah, we can't really touch many of his characters. And that's totally fine. Okay, so we don't care about that. Really mainly focus on these two kingdoms for now. And that's about it. I think we're good. I think we have to remember to put down some administrators. Uh, some of our strategists are coming back online next turn. And we'll be just fine. So let's continue. Alrighty. Oh? He snatched up the High Empire. Interesting. Ah, Van Lan has been convinced to join the war. So our southern army is going to stay busy. Van Lan is not that scary. Alright, so items forged, item created by... We got a silver from the weapon craftsman, and we got a armor from the forge. Both silver. Ooh, Guo Tu. You left? Oh, sh wait, what? Why are you not in our brother's faction? I mean, plus 10%. This is 
It's not terrible. I don't know if we want to recruit him. Okay, we're going to pass on both of them. Uh, let's see here. So the south is still going to be pretty busy. Long Long has a force here. We can crush him afterward. I guess we'll leave this army alone and kind of risk getting attacked again. Nice level up here. And we might... I mean, they have two armies here. Mm, I don't know. I'm not so sure that leaving him alone is a good idea. All right, let's go for it. All right, we'll attack that. The Obey has continued to snatch up land, the High Empire. Uh, we can't stop him. That's fine. As long as he's not declaring war on us, so everything is good. This army, we need to chase them down. We can give you the Silver D. Take a Herdsman. Yeah, why don't you take that as well? Alright, this should be an easy delegate. And then they can be going west. This army, I feel like they're going to get stalled here. We might just go for it here. They're not healthy, but healthy enough. We might have to play around diplomacy with our brother. Hopefully we can work together. It is the Yuan's world after all. We'll give him a duke or some title, you know. He's going to get a title if we become the emperor over all of this. Alright, they have no chance. Alright, we're not going to let them off so easily. But we can't catch them, it seems. She's not very strong. I don't know if I want to give her the item. We'll give her some speed. Yeah, Moya is still being wasted though right now. Yeah, they stalling us, so we'll let them move. They didn't take Pengcheng. They're coming for the city. Big mistake. Oh, they have a siege weapon. Oh dear. I mean, even if they, even if they attack this. Oh, the health is very low. Okay, that's not good. We we could rush to the defense, but we'll be exhausted. Yeah, it's still better though. Still better than losing it. Nobody's gonna grab this as well. How much unity point does he have? He's sweeping through these territories. Anyhow, night battle. Please don't have night battle. Uh, we don't know them. Ah, we can check. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Okay, good. They can't night battle us, so we'll be fine. He can take the farmland. He can take the temple. That's all up to him. All right, our northern... Our armies have all moved. Um, they really should have healed last turn. I thought I would have more time, I guess. All right, we have 14k thanks to our high tax rate. Quick peek at turncoat situation. Yeah, I think most of the Imperial Court make their character pretty happy as well. We have two administrators that need to go up. And we picked... Where's... Boyang is right here. I think Miju should be one. That's just a lot of bonuses right away. Rengong, maybe. Oh, we think we picked out Sima Fang, right. All sources, also pretty good. So Sima Fang can go to Poyang. And our last one, we're saving Jian Ye for later. Runan, Runan has good potential with the extra forge income. So Miju comes here. 
Perfect. All right. So administrators all good. Armies all moved. Um, diplomacy. Uh, it's really hard to do deals right now. But we still need to try. All right. Since he currently does not have any friends, I would love to be his friend. Okay. Not too bad. Mm. Yeah, it's just hard to make deals. Respectability minus 3.4. Uh, I guess it doesn't hurt us that much. But, yeah. I don't think it's happening. I don't think we're going to get any deals done. I would love to have this trade route, but that's just way too much. Alright, anyhow. I guess we can't do anything about diplomacy. We'll just work on our income a little bit. Five turns, 3,192. Four turns, 3,072. Huh. Hold on. Let me get this done before I forget. We can boost commerce here. Uh, who want? I want Chengguo on the battlefield a bit more, so Zhou Yu can level up here for now. Alright, this is more efficient right now. Alright, corruption reduction. Yeah, I'm not rushing that. I think I'll go with this. Alright, we need a state workshop going. And we need to continue to downgrade. Alright, these can be kept. This also needs a state workshop to be finished before we can downgrade farther. And save a bit of money here. Yeah, I'm not so scared of rebels. Okay, that's good. I just kept some cash on hand. Um, public order wise, because of the tax rate, it's going to tank a little bit, but we're still relatively healthy everywhere, so we should be good. Alright, let's continue. We need to wipe out Liu Chong next turn. Okay, so we lost another trade route. Koron declare war on us. Hmm. I mean, that's fine. They have to fight through Liu Bei's territory to get to us. They can't really coastal raid us because Liu Bei took all the coast. And so far, Liu Bei hasn't declared war on us yet, so that's good. Alright. They're still fighting Ma Teng on the west side. Oh my god, we have a daughter? Rebels against the Bandit Queen. Two bandits come to propose. If we work together, we can rid ourselves of that Zhengjiang bitch. They... Ah... They indeed possess formidable presence and determination to back their confidence, their desire to overthrow the queen they once served. They offer their assistance, but not without a price. They will require compensation for their part. Okay, two new MTU bandit girls. Accept. So, free generals for Yuan Shu's faction. That's always nice. Joey leveled up. Alright, we'll make him go a little stronger here before we send him out for battle. Zhu Tu, disloyal bandit. Plus 10% campaign movement range. A little bit of minus military supply. That's not bad for bandits. Uh, but he, she's not a bandit uh, mechanic now because she's with us. Uh, because there's the loot mechanic. So now it's actually slightly bad for us. But it's okay. I mean, how is she loyal and then disloyal at the same time? Like disloyal just to the bandit queen and now loyal to us? 
men no she doesn't have mending mtu didn't modify her as a bandit interesting well with stern she could be potentially a good administrator down the line also disloyal same bonus that's a little boring right because that's still the best build in case we wanted them in different armies there's not even a unique ability on them they're just very standard bandit character with unique portraits anyhow give them some weapons all right we'll put them to use you know uh, we can always use some champions all right last bit of let's get rid of them first we can probably double team just for a easier delegate here All right, uh, well, we won't do night battle. Want the reinforcement? Ooh. Hmm. I don't really care. I mean, it's good, you know, getting a bronze for a diplomacy item, but diplomatic value for sparing his life. Alright, Dotron's gone. Level up. Alright, that's going. All Tian's army is finally ready to suicide. Alright. Apparently, Zhao Yun didn't make it. He encamped, which is rather silly. Alright, we'll fight this at the end. Let's mobilize everyone else first. We're definitely going for the trade port. Can't see much here, but not much we can do. Alright, down south. Alright, this is a tough fight too. Alright, at least he doesn't have a weapon, which is pretty key. And we'll be able to wipe that out. Is Valon making any aggressive moves? I am of the opinion that he's going to be a passive enemy anyways. Okay, I'm not in a rush to kill him. He's coming to attack us, I'm pretty sure. But first we wipe this out. Um, any army? Alright, so both army we have left have fights, so let's get the fights out of the way first. So we definitely want night battle. We should be okay. We have the advantage of sieging them, so let's go. Alrighty, let's find one of the gates where we have elevation and vision advantage. They might not come out, so that might not matter very much, but this one seems the best one here. Because we can kind of see their troops coming out. Relatively flat. Alright, let's do this. Hmm, actually they should be on regular arrows. We should modify this army a little bit. Let her command that. Let him get repeating uh, crossbowmen. Alright, fire here. Standard damage right behind them. Crossbowmen. Alright. There we go. Alright, let's hide those. Alright, I'm gonna control the trebuchet. 
I'm hoping for a very inaccurate shot so that we hit some of the towers as well. Oh, that's relatively accurate, actually. Hmm. These towers are going to be a little annoying, too. I really wish they would come out, though. It might not happen. And I don't think... Can, yeah, can we actually win the duel? That's the other question. Well, he's not willing to duel. Oh, that's just... Okay, let's stop firing for a second. Kind of crush the front here. It'd be nice if we kill the generals. Alright, this one... How's this tower still up? We might kill these two towers, and then we might move our units up a little bit. We should be able to take it out. Yep, we do. Okay, the weather is good. If we just land one or two shots, it's pretty easy. If we can't just land one or two shots. Um, they have tons of archers. They don't have scary units here. We can probably just wipe them pretty easily. There we go. Just need to touch it. This might be a slightly harder shot because of the rock there. Yeah, that's going to take another volley. Or two. I think that touched it. Yep. Uh, do we need to get rid of any other towers? I think we have an opening here, which is good enough. The question is, do we want to pound them anymore? Spear warriors are not spear guards. They are not very good at anti-range. So. I think we'll just move everything up. Since they're not coming out. Um, the enemy archers is a problem, but we can get them to go absorb the enemy archers attacks. There will be eight. Oh, they're only 65. These will be 70, oh, but they have 50% melee, like, I don't know, they have 50% range, like, uh, resistance, so they can absorb a lot more damage than you think. We'll let the archers pound us for a little bit. How many volleys do they have? I don't think we have any burn boost. Okay, that might be too many volleys. Hmm. I mean, we barely hurt, but there's no reason to do this. We just need to make sure the siege weapon won't get hit uh, when they are there. Okay, they're in safe range. That's good. Mm. Don't have a lot of real estate to stand. Let's do that. Just to test out their range. Okay, they can't hit us. They can hit them. Okay, that's fine. Then we'll let them hit us. Yeah, we're just gonna dump all our range damage on them and then charge our cavalry in. They can fire at will. 
All right, these guys can't reach. Oh, they can. Okay, good. All right, they can also start firing a will. Just dump all the fire. There we go. Alright, the generals are losing too, to just this fire. Nice barrage of damage. Alright. Or we can turtle up and just march up. Mm, they still have some cavalry. Alright, even though else not hanging on to his morale, that's good. Can't really charge in just yet. There's still a spearman here. If he dies, this the militia right here, we can play charge down here. Kill off all the range. Alright, he's bumped into us. That's fine. Gonna send him in. Actually, no. Bad idea. The archer's still alive right there. They can go in. We're gonna go flank them. Alright. They will stop the reinforcement from that side. Oh, they got more range over there. Okay. See, that Z militia is still annoying. Oh, 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 I see opening. Alright, leaders routed, push. Seal off the cavalry from this side. Charge over here. Ooh, ooh, not smart, but okay, we'll take that. Take them. Charge in. Go kill the archers. All right, choke that. Go fight him again. Charge. Go this way. Charge in. Alright. You guys need to go help. They routed actually. Alright, we'll go over here and try to flank. The militia unit routed. Not surprised. Can't pull him out anymore. Go, 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 go. 
离胜利又近了一步。Oh, they have repeating crossbowmen. Okay. You kill that. You kill this. Yeah, chase them down. They bounce back. Charge. All right, we got this. Him back. All right, let's see if our rapid tiger infantry can actually do something. Okay, I mean, they routed. I don't know if we did much, but okay, that's fine. All righty. That's only level three. All right, we're probably gonna have to fight them. They're probably gonna come after the fishing port. They might take it. We'll take it back, and then we can sell for Jian Ye, and then take care of Wang Long. Back to the fight against Zhao Yun. So Zhao Yun has a amazing weapon here. Uh, it's MTU weapon. Uh, damage is. Not that high, actually. Just a lot of expertise. He's gonna be a stall out type of duelist. Let's see if he retreats. He does not stand and fight. What a proud man. Um, they have a siege weapon, which is rather annoying. But other than that, it, I mean, even then, it's not that annoying because they're in an encampment, so it's not like it's gonna be placed well. So, let's just fight. Alrighty, so we're loaded up in here, and as you can see, it's foggy, which is okay, I guess. Not the greatest, but could be worse. Um, I don't know. How do we fight this? They have a trebuchet. We could just... We're level 10 trebuchet. I'm assuming they're a level 1 trebuchet. We could just try to dominate them from the beginning by demolishing them. But then if Jolyon charges out... Hmm... Right, so maybe it's better if we just cover the front, burn down that wall first. And we'll worry about the trebuchet a bit later. Maybe we'll let the trebuchet shoot at this. The reinforcement should also mess them up. Alright, let's get all these standing together because they can heal each other. Actually, I don't know. It doesn't activate if she's below 50% health, so she can't heal anyone. Oh, the trebuchet is standing right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Need to get that killed. Fire, fire, fire. Ah, they're wasting. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they missed. Phew. Are we gonna miss? We gotta tear that wall down first. And then we'll try to hit them. Oh, the wall's down. Come on, next next volley. Ah, uh, we didn't destroy any. That one's gonna fire again. That's fine. It's loaded. Come on, crush it before- Ooh, we got one shot that's going live. Two shot that's going live. Where's our shots? Are right, they missed? Return fire. Oh, come on. Destroy the actual machines. Alright, they haven't destroyed any of ours either. Just missing versus each other. Uh oh, uh oh. 
Okay. Whew. That was close. We are not hitting them, by the way. Like, yeah. We're killing some of the people, but we're not like getting a direct hit on the machines. But I don't know where they're trying to relocate. Oh, they didn't destroy it? Uh... Are you serious? Is it because we're using flaming shots? Should we be using non-flaming shot to kill them? I mean, we're hurting their morale with the flaming shots. But, like, we're getting direct hits on the trebuchet themselves and they're not breaking. Which is really annoying. Let's see if non-flaming shot does the trick. Well, we killed some more men, but we didn't kill any. We just missed there. Don't fire. Oh, come on. No! My precious... Okay, okay. Oh! Just missed. Just missed. Alright, let's see if we got them. Alright. Oh, see? Okay, so maybe we do need to change weapons. We got hit too. We lost some men right there. Alright, they're done. We'll leave them alone. Break this wall. Alright, march them up. Fire on them. Oh, they're going. Are they serious? They're going back to their machine the second we. Okay, maybe they're not going back to their machines. Yeah, they're not. Okay, good. And we'll just pound the front door. That's gonna light up soon. The fire's gonna spread. And we have how many shots? Five? Oh, we still have plenty. Hold on. Just pound the front door. Oh, Zhao Yun's willing to duel. I don't know if we can win this duel, but we'll get that duel started. Let me soften up their front line a little bit. One more shot. Are they in position? Getting there. Alright, do we have any debuffs? Alright, not good enough. Alright, we're gonna challenge him. Uh, let's go. I am not confident about this. Alright, at least we can lock his Flame of the Phoenix. His attack is 1.7k, 1k... Yeah, he does a lot more than us. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Mm. Alright, bye. <laughs> yeah, this... This gold weapon doesn't look like much, but... Ouch. There goes our advantage there. It's okay. We'll have to take care of him with um, our cavalry units. Oh, we have poison volleys as well. Right, we have a backup for us. What am I doing? Alright, let's go, boys. Uh, we gotta probably gotta come through this side. Because we don't want to get hit by arrow towers. Oh man, had to retreat. What a bad look. Not these guys, but this guy. Move up. Doesn't she speed people up? Yeah, she'll go with them. Look at that blooming beauty boost of speed. Ah, Joe you're so embarrassing. Um, I want you to try to kill this guy. We'll take care of everyone else. Alright, 
Guess this group will have to kill Zhao Yun with the poison volleys. They have crossbowmen as well? Alright, fire those. Yeah, these are just militias. Didn't see the crossbowmen. Oh, I should have shot them. Alright, they're in range. Start firing. We'll inch them up slowly. Onyx dragons need to pick off the enemy crossbowmen. Alright, they're here. Why are they pulling to the back? No idea. Oh, gotta kill these two. Oh yeah, range accuracy is going to be really bad here because we're fog. Can't even see them. Ah, uh, they're smoke screening. Okay. Come on, come out of your smoke screen. Like, I'm literally next to you. How are you still smoke screening against us? Crossbow. Alright, we're gonna shred everything. Are they coming? Alright. Still on foot. Okay, that's good. I mean, we can probably get a pretty easy poison volley on him. Oh, look at all those traps. Fire, please. Oh, the strat just took most of the hits. Okay, back her up. Let him get poisoned for 20 seconds. Will they come back? They're coming back. Good. Poison him. I'm gonna soften him up a bit more. A little bit worried after Zhou Tai died so easily. Or well, not died, lost so easily. He also has a splash attack, so... Oh, we missed all those? Okay. Wait. 
We didn't even scratch him there? Alright, all the units are dead. We could just end him through morale. Right, that's the other option. Shoot him. There we go. Uh, that works. Let's see if we can capture him. Yeah, it's a little scary. Zhao Yun's tough. Alright, please capture him. Or at least give us the weapon. Oh, nothing. I mean, he's still on the field. He retreated, so he's still available for capture here. Uh, it's a little sad what happened, but that's fine. 31% chance. So there's a shot here. I think we just delegate this. 31%, come on. Let's see. Fingers crossed. That's not the item. Uh, not the item we were looking for. But fine. Alright, we're pretty beat up. But we're defending around here. He's gonna just hang out here. They can be recalled, actually. We can use them elsewhere. Honestly, these three assassins is probably enough to wipe out Wang Long down south. We send them here, I think they can wipe out everything by themselves. Yeah, but there's no rush. We don't need our southern army to come north, so they can take care of that themselves. I think that's all we have to worry about here. He has quite a bit of points now. Doesn't like us. Because? War atrocity against his friends? Uh, well, I mean, he's not friends with Liu Chong. Or Gong Sun Zan. What's he talking about? Yeah, the people we're interested in are just way too happy with him. So I think this is the only option we can do. While well, we still have a trade route with him. And... Oh wait, we didn't check. New turncoats. Kongrong. Right. Ah, the man declared war on us. Hmm. I don't know. We can't do much about it. That's the thing. He's not that strong. He literally has only four counties, no settlements. So, yeah. Rota is enough just defending this entire zone, and in case the Obey does anything. Okay, alright, I think we're fine. Let's just get all the buildings done. Alright, we are over a million pop. Okay, let's get that going. Waiting for reforms there. Yeah, might as well. Okay, that's fine. Let's continue. Alright, oh, dear brother. There goes another trade route. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. I don't care about his armies. He's busy in a lot of wars. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Liu is attacking our fishing port. I'm gonna let him have it. It's fine. We'll kill him here. It's easier to keep him around. Oh, Wang Long's attacking us. This is a uh, lumberyard. All right, we're gonna loop him. Uh, so I'm gonna cut this out, and we'll see you guys at the end. Alrighty, we fought them to a draw. All right, we're probably gonna use our assassin to take care of Wang Long. So our brother declared war on us. We lost the fishing port, and uh, yeah, things aren't looking so great. The north is uh, officially. Oh, I guess we're just at war with everyone except for Liu Bei right now, which is 
hanging on by a thread as, I don't know, his attitude towards us is also dropping, so that's another issue. Alright, we need to take care of them. We can just do a proxy summon and then have them get attacked by um, assassins. Should be pretty easy. They need to come back. Next turn? Yeah, next turn. That's fine. Um, any good characters? Oh, lots of characters. Zhang Wen's still alive. Yang Xiu is alive. Gong Sun Du. Oh, Gong Sun Du, do you have items? You were a leader once. Ah, just the armor. What a pathetic leader. Oh, Lin Biao. The weapon is very attractive. The character, I mean, unbreakable, not so much. And he could be a spy is another thing. I mean, we're not short on silver weapons. We're short on gold weapons. Anyhow. They siege us. Okay, it's time to end Tao Tian's faction. Say goodbye to them. Oh, they're still alive. This is three generals. Alright, we get some satisfaction boost. Um, We can't do much. Our job is just to hold. Over here, I don't know if we're going to get exposed here. But I think we're going to send this army as the defensive force here and they'll stay. And they will go this way. Oh, Bu. All right, little conquer. New destination. All right, let's just get this fight over with with Wang Long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find. Let's use Sun Quan as the proxy. Send him in. Alright, and they'll be able to take care of them. Uh, even the AI know we'll win this? Okay. Save us a little effort. Yeah, Long Long's faction is just not impressive. Uh, we could use someone as a, a Simon character to relieve Zhou Yu. Alright, we'll take him. And we'll take this. There goes that. And uh, we'll use that as our save point. I think we'll come back next episode. Uh, we'll finish up Liu Yao uh, probably during the next episode. Liu Bei has taken everything here except for fishing port. That's fine. He can take that too. And what we're going to do is we're probably going to start engaging with the Kingdom of Zhou starting next episode as well. One army going towards the capital, one army coming to defend this area, and also cutting into the Shu Han region. I don't know how much of this he has, uh, but we'll take it. Uh, there's an armor craftsman down here as well. If he doesn't have much, then we might stop. We might just send this army through Han Zhong, cut back into the other side, and maybe they'll meet somewhere in the middle to take this level 10 Imperial City down. Um, we have one army defending here, one army defending here. We, that should be enough to hold against the north and the west, the east, uh, over here. Zhou Rong, I don't know, we're allowing him to survive, but that's fine. Yeah, Liu Bei needs to remain our friend. We might throw him a pretty big diplomatic deal to let him support our legitimacy, uh, just to keep him friendly with us. And Wang Lang is going to be a pushover after Liu Yao, you know, dies, we're going to take his territory as well. So that's where things stand. Uh, hopefully we'll be getting this soon and then we can plan out a way to get this final seat. Uh, once we clear out the west, we can probably sell up. Uh, Ren Shao is being a barrier right now, which is not great, but maybe we'll whittle him down through a few wins and then get a peace deal. Um, right now it's just deals don't look very likely simply because we're treacherous for the next 33 turns, but hopefully that will die down. Um, I don't know if this campaign will go on for 33 turns. Hopefully not. That would mean we're not doing very well. 
Um, hopefully this will be resolved in the next 10 to 15 turns and then we can shift our attention over here. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you guys all next time. Bye.